Hello, it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. Today is wash day obviously by the title of this video and instead of doing my typical wash day, I wanted to give several different tips on how to get the most out of your wash day. Now some of these tips are going to be very simple and a few others do require just a little bit more effort but regardless, these tips are guaranteed to take your wash day to the next level. My first one is to pre-poo your hair. Now you know I'm an avid advocate of pre-pooing your hair. I absolutely love love to do it. I'm always looking for more pre poos and I'll go further in depth in a little bit. But my next tip I can give you is to always section your hair when you're doing wash day. This is really going to help. One, it's going to really save time when you're detangling. I love to detangle outside of the shower. I always section my hair in fours. This just works great for me. So even if you had to section your hair in halves and sixths and eighths or four like me, then do that. It's really going to help overall. Just make sure that you can account for all all of your hair even when you are detangling your hair all you have to think is working in these smaller sections as opposed to trying to take on your hair in one trust me if you section your hair out it is going to save time and a bit of frustration because you just have to think of working in these small little sections it really helps I remember when I had a TWA I still sectioned my hair initially I didn't and I felt like I was just missing something but as I sectioned my hair it just made life so much easier and quicker all I had to do was treat that section of hair and my wash days became so much easier just by doing this one step also sectioning your hair allows for you to get right to your scalp I know many products I like to apply on my scalp such as scalp scrubs my shampoos I want to make sure that my scalp gets nice and clean I have talked about scalp health so much here on my channel and I just want you to know that having a nice clean scalp equates to having a healthy scalp you want to make sure that you get the builds up off that sweat off any bacteria bacteria, pollution, excess oils, because I know I apply oils throughout the week and I just want to get that off on wash day. I want to start fresh. So I want to be able to get directly to my scalp. So if I have to put anything onto my hair, it can just penetrate a lot better. So back to sectioning your hair, it just really allows for you to get the products directly on your scalp if need be, but from your roots all the way down to the tips. And this is very important. For me, I know I want all of my products to work to its full capacity on my hair. And that is very important for me. Now, as you see, what I'm applying is the African Pride Pre shampoo and I absolutely love it. I apply it in sections on my hair and it helps to detangle, it helps to moisturize, it also helps to lock in that moisture. I just noticed that my hair feels so much better. I do have a pre poo video which I will link down below in the description box. Also, there is an eye card so you can check it out. But if you are not pre pooing, I highly recommend that you look into it, you start pre pooing because it has so many great benefits. As you can see, after applying this pre shampoo, my hair hair is very moisturized and I have been doing this for years. It has really helped moisture retention in my hair and just really helped to the overall health of my hair. There's many more factors that have contributed to the health of my hair, but pre pooing is definitely in my top five to having healthier hair, more manageable hair. I'm telling you, pre pooing has definitely changed the game for me. So after I have washed my hair, of course, I'm going to put my hair back into sections and then I'm going to prepare my hair for shampoo. Now my third tip is to saturate your hair with water. This is definitely a big one. I've noticed ever since I really saturated my hair, like really got it soaking wet, my products penetrate into my hair so much better. For my shampoo, I'm using this one from Soapbox Soaps. It's their Coconut Oil Moisture and Nourish Shampoo, which brings me to my fourth tip is to massage the shampoo from your scalp to your ends. And throughout the years, I've received so many comments with people asking me if I'm worried about stripping my hair by doing this. And the answer is no. And this leads me to another tip that I have for you is make sure that you are choosing the right products, especially when it comes to shampoo. You want to cleanse your hair. You want to cleanse your scalp. It's very important to get rid of all those toxins, bacteria. And even if you're going to the gym or you sweat a lot, it really helps. You want to get rid of if you have dandruff or any scalp concerns you want to get rid of that you want to start fresh on wash day you want to cleanse your hair cleanse your scalp this is going to be like a restart 
I try to wash my hair once a week. I find that this works great for me. Sometimes it does go over a week, but nonetheless, I find that really focusing and shampooing my scalp, working the shampoo down the length of my hair really does help me. I go to the gym three to four times a week, so I really need to make sure that all that builds up, the sweat, because like I said, I do apply more products throughout the week. I want everything off my scalp. I want it gone. Sometimes I do clarify my scalp and use a scalp scrub, so that is also a another tip that I can provide, but just making sure that your scalp is nice and clean is going to help set you up for success after wash day. And you see that the shampoo, it is moisturizing. You see my curls are clumping. This is what I ideally look for with a shampoo. I don't want it to strip my hair. Even if it's purifying, detoxifying, it can do that, but I don't want to take away from the integrity of the health of my hair. It's very important for me to maintain healthy hair with everything that I do, from wash day to styling my hair and maintenance. I wanna make sure that I do everything, give my hair TLC because with every step that I do, it definitely makes a difference. And many of you have taken note that my hair is constantly looking healthy, even after a couple weeks of not washing my hair. The key is to give your hair TLC throughout wash day, throughout styling and maintenance of your hair. Many of you want to know a lot more tips and that is one tip that I can really sum up. That's the biggest thing. Give your hair TLC pretty much every single day. Whether you're sleeping with a bonnet, you have a scarf, a satin pillow, you apply more oils, you're moisturizing your hair, you're being gentle with your hair, you're not doing too much manipulation. You just wanna take care of your hair. I mean, I feel that it is simple. Once you get down to a routine, it helps. Don't overcomplicate it, but nonetheless, my hair, it feels so good after rinsing the shampoo out. And I do rinse the shampoo out with some lukewarm water. Next, I'm going to apply my conditioner and it's from Camille Rose, the Moroccan Pear Conditioning Custard. And I really like the way that it makes my hair feel. Again, I'm applying this to saturated hair and I'm working it in from roots to tips. I really wanna make sure that my ends especially really get this conditioner because it does help to really nourish my hair. Next, my fifth tip is to comb the conditioner in. This is definitely a big one. When I have conditioner in my hair, I really make sure that I do work it in, but combing the conditioner in, it does take it up a notch. It definitely does make a difference. As you can see, when you have a really good conditioner and you have combed it in your hair, you could tell the difference. I have had some conditioners after I comb the conditioner in, it just sits on top of my hair and it doesn't penetrate. And that is a way that I know that that conditioner is definitely not for me. I really want to reap the benefits of all the products I put in, from my pre-poos to my shampoos, my conditioners, deep conditioners, and even after wash day, my leave-ins, my oils, my stylers, everything really has to attribute to the bigger picture. Which leads to my sixth tip, is to twist your hair. Twisting really helps to lock the moisture in. It helps to intensify any product that you have on your hair, really, whether it's deep conditioner, the pre-poo, if you have a styler in, it helps to lock it in versus just leaving your hair out and not twisting. I have tried both, and this is why I'm able to give you so many tips through trial and error. I did the big chop back in 2014 towards the end, and I have had a lot of trial and error with my hair, and I know what works best for me, which is why I continue to do what works best. And then I'm able to share what works best for me, and it has helped thousands of you out there, which really makes me so happy through my trial and error, I'm able to just share with you and you could see the difference after combing the conditioner in. My curls are just clumped together. They feel so good, very moisturized and soft. And that's what I love. It has a nice healthy balance. It's not soft to the point where it's mushy, but it's definitely soft and supple. And that is exactly what I look for with my hair. I apply the conditioner to the other two sections of my hair. And for this video, I'm going to rinse the conditioner out. Typically, I leave the conditioner in and then and I'll put the deep conditioner in section by section after I have rinsed the conditioner out. But today I am going to do something a little bit different with my deep conditioner. So for this particular wash day, I'm gonna rinse the conditioner out as a whole. And while we're here, I'm gonna give you another tip, which is to make sure that you are rinsing out all your products, especially shampoo, because it could leave over a residue, which can cause scalp irritation. 
I had to do a flashback of a previous wash day just to show you exactly what I mean. Right now, I have conditioner in my hair. I worked it in really good, combed it in just like I previously showed you, and then did the same process to the other three sections of hair. So now coming right back to that first quadrant, I'm gonna rinse the conditioner out completely, and the deep conditioner I chose that day was from Uncle Funky's daughter. It's their Heal and Renew Intensive Hair Mask, and I really like it. I feel like it gives me the perfect balance of moisture and protein in my hair, and I definitely need it. I apply it all over my hair from my roots all the way down to the ends, really working it in, and you could see how my curls are clumping together. So I hope that you saw what I did. I rinsed the conditioner out completely, and immediately I applied this deep conditioner in my hair and worked it in. I'm going to twist it just to help intensify this treatment, and then I'm going to work on the other section of hair doing the same exact process. So I'm going to unravel the twist, rinse the conditioner out completely and then immediately apply the deep conditioner to this quadrant of hair. I've been doing this process for at least a couple years now and let me tell you this has definitely definitely help with moisture retention because once I rinse the conditioner out my hair it feels so good but then I immediately put that deep conditioner in so my hair is getting moisture after moisture and conditioning nourishing it's just getting that TLC back to back to back and that is exactly what my hair needs and loves and it's very receptive to this process. And typically after I have applied the deep conditioner to all four sections, I take my shower and then I rinse the deep conditioner out as a whole. Now back to today's wash day. This is how my hair looks after I have completely rinsed the conditioner out. My hair feels amazing. It's really soft, supple, very moisturized, and I like using a cotton t-shirt. So this is tip number eight. To use a cotton t-shirt, it's going to help soak up any excess water, but not moisture. I don't use a towel or a microfiber towel because a towel especially is known to cause friction and give you unnecessary frizz. So in my experience, using a cotton t-shirt really helps to smooth the hair cuticle down so by the time I take it off to style my hair, my hair is still soft, it's still moisturized, and it looks good. Now for tip number nine is to customize your deep conditioner. This is really good. This time I'm gonna use the Shea Moisture's 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Treatment Mask. Also, I'm gonna use this Nutiva Red Palm Oil that has been ethically sourced, and this Miracle 9 Almond Mint Honey and Avocado Oil. So what I'm gonna do is take a glass bowl and then just put all the contents in. And since I had about a third left of the deep conditioner, I ended up using the rest of it. And I used three tablespoons of the red palm oil. And red palm oil is rich in vitamin E and it really helps to benefit the hair by promoting cell growth and also helps to promote stronger hair. And I just really love that. And giving your hair TLC is very important with overall healthy hair. And then I applied about two dropperfuls of the Miracle 9 oil. And then I'm just going to mix all the contents in. This really helps to make sure you can really cater any concerns that you want to address to your hair by customizing it just like a DIY which is why I love it now to further intensify this treatment I'm going to heat up the deep conditioner now please 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 do not use a microwave to heat up your treatment because microwaves are known to emit radiation and you don't want to apply that to your hair and that's why I don't even use the microwave to heat up food it's just not good overall now that my deep conditioner conditioner concoction has been heated up I'm ready to apply it to my hair now heating up your deep conditioner this way and applying it to your hair is really going to help your hair overall I try to do this at least maybe once every couple months just to give my hair that really deep intense treatment to my hair and, and also warming the deep conditioner and applying it onto your hair it just penetrates right into the hair strands so much better it can really nourish your hair I'm telling you this treatment works phenomenally and I love doing it. Anytime I need that extra, extra boost and I have time, I will sit under the hooded dryer or I will heat up the deep conditioner and apply it in subsections to my hair because I do have a lot of hair and I'm gonna re-wet my hair because I did comb through it before I sectioned my hair and now I'm going to apply it and you're just gonna see how well 
this deep conditioner warmth goes into my hair. I have mixed oils in it just to help intensify and give me that extra boost of moisturizing effects. So I know that oils, they don't moisturize, but they help to seal that moisture in. And as I'm working it in with my fingers, I am going to twist it. Like I said, twisting the hair really helps to lock in that moisture. It really helps to intensify whatever you put onto your hair. And because I have the deep conditioner that really highlights and boosts hydration, then I have the red palm oil that's very rich in vitamin E and also just securing healthy hair. And that oil from Miracle 9 with the avocado and mint is gonna help my scalp. It's just everything, it helps overall so as i've already told many of you everything that you do for your hair just make sure that you do it with good intent do it with purpose so don't half step if you're going to really take the time to really treat your hair i would say at least once every other month do something like this it's really going to make a difference and the more you do it you're going to see great results so i tend to do a pre-poo shampoo condition and deep conditioner every single week i really try so at least three times a month i will do this and then once every other month or so i'll do something like this i don't really show you much just because it does take a lot to film going in the shower twice and doing this going in the kitchen and everywhere so i tend to do it myself but today i had some time so i just wanted to show you another tip i can give and make sure that you do get the ends. Any treatment that you do, you wanna make sure that you get all of your hair from the roots all the way down to the tips. Now that the deep conditioner mix has been applied to all of my hair, I'm gonna move to tip number 11, which is to use a steamer. Now this one is from Curidoo, but there's many other tools out there that you can use to help intensify your deep conditioning session, like a steamer that you sit under. There's so many tools that you can use, but today I chose to use a Curidoo. I have used this about four times before, and I'll definitely say it has many benefits. One, which is what I'm doing right now, is to help intensify your deep conditioning treatment. Also it helps to stretch your hair wink wink its main objective is to soften your hair and just to keep that moisture locked in and you can see this juicy curl this is why i love intensifying my deep conditioning treatments every now and then i mean i'm very good with my daily routine i also have a week in my hair video i'll link right here in the i cards also down below in the description box and i also do my pre poos my shampoos conditioner and my deep conditioner while i'm in the shower so i don't feel the need to do this all the time and even if i were to do something like this frequently like say once a week or like three Three times a week I could definitely see my hair getting too much moisture and yes that is definitely a thing it's called moisture overload and your hair becomes mushy I have been there one time before I didn't know that that's what it was and I used some protein just to help balance that out so because I have been there I know the signs to look out for my hair was literally mushy it felt like overcooked soggy pasta it just did not feel good I just want all of us to avoid that learn from me the mistakes and errors that i have made but doing this about maybe once every other month or even once a month should be okay for you and i'm also getting my ends i make sure i never neglect the ends i want to make sure that i treat all of my hair and you can see how moisturized my hair is and this is my low porosity section so many of you always ask me about porosity. I have low porosity in the front of my hair and medium porosity in the back of my hair. It's also in the description box below. So what that means with low porosity is I just have to give a little extra love to the front portion of my hair so it can retain that moisture. But as far as the back, I find that it is really good with retaining moisture on its own. I wash my hands and my hands are not stained at all. And it brings me to tip number 12, which is to use a shower cap. Now I like this one by Evolve because it actually takes the body heat from your head and just helps to circulate around within the cap and just help to intensify this treatment. I mean, there's so many ways, like I said, to help intensify, but I left this on for 15 minutes and my hair, it felt so moist, so soft, so supple, just very healthy. And I just loved how my hair felt. It was not mushy at all, but I know that I need to do this about once a month just to get that extra TLC in my hair, just as far as maintenance is concerned with the overall healthy journey. But if you don't have this particular shower cap, that's totally fine. You can use a plastic one. I typically use that for each 
wash day I do with applying the deep conditioner unless it has a lot of protein in it because I don't want to apply too much protein to my hair but you can really see with how my curls are clumping together that this moisture treatment it was good for my hair so like I said you can use this about once a month maybe once every other month depending on your hair routine but definitely giving your hair that TLC it needs to thrive is going to help in the long run and you will be so much happier your hair is going to retain that moisture it's going to be stronger it's going to not break off so easily and when your hair doesn't break off so easily and quickly it is going to retain length now moving right along to tip number 13 is to apply a leave-in right after you rinse the deep conditioner out. So just like I explained earlier, I apply the deep conditioner right after I rinse the conditioner out. Applying the leave-in while your hair is still wet is going to help further nourish and condition. And tip number 14 is to apply an oil to help seal it in. This oil is from Badger and it's a mix of different oils like jojoba, argan, sunflower, vitamin E. So I really like that to really seal in that moisture in my hair and just to help prevent my scalp from drying out. I also want to make sure that my scalp is nicely moisturized and just does not get dry because once your scalp starts getting dry, it gets irritated and it's just not good overall. Then, of course, 15 is to twist your hair with the product in it. I'm doing twists, and I'm going to leave my hair like this for a couple days just to make sure that my hair is not being manipulated or anything like that. So when you don't over manipulate your hair, your hair can breathe, your hair can flourish. It's going to be a lot happier. So that's why I do styles like protective styles or low manipulation styles because it prevents me from putting my hands in it and just doing too much. I just make sure I twist my hair, I leave it alone, I apply oils on my scalp, I massage the oils in, and then a few days later I can unravel the twist and then I have a nice beautiful twist out. And here's how my hair looks after I've applied the leave-in conditioner and it feels so good. My hair is very moisturized, especially after I did the intense deep conditioning. And then I'm going to apply that oil. I just really want to lock in that moisture. And me, I do the WLOS method typically as I'm styling my hair. But if I want that extra moisture on wash day or if I'm not able to style my hair, I will just apply a leave-in conditioner and oil in the shower, twist it up, and then tie my hair up. And then when I'm ready to to style my hair it is going to be so moisturized it's ridiculous I did apply just a little bit more oil to my hair especially the ends because I knew I wasn't going to be able to style my hair for a couple days and then I just clipped it up and let my hair air dry I hope you enjoyed these 15 tips from me and I'll see you in the next video bye